So I was talking in my previous video that we were gonna work on the baby span this weekend. Well, guess what? We're flooded, like really, really flooded. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can tell, these boots are not waterproof, but I'm gonna try to give you like my, it, and it gets deeper over there. It is starting to affect the girl's pen. As you can see it right there, there's tons of debris over there. It's falling from the trees. It's just getting so scary at night because you can hear the woods uh, shaking because of the wind and also uh, the limbs and things just falling everywhere. So that was gonna, that little thing was gonna be burned as long as that rug over there we're gonna move that wood chipper that is not working and on this side as you can see we have the fencing already done kind of going all the way to the boys pen those things need to be moved but the idea was to be able to use this one part of the fence for the boys as one side of the pen and then use that post there's another one over there and another one over there and then finally connect that post all the way here with this post you know with a big gate we were going to open over there a gate so sorry when it's breeding season I can open the door over there and just walk the bugs from here to there or if this pen is with no babies um, just bring the bug here and bring the girl from that direction without having to go around but as you can see my plans are not working out this weekend because apparently i basically need Noah's Ark to um, get into the boys. Well, if I'm being honest, it's soggy the boys' pen, but it's not bad. Uh, you can see how much higher it is. It's just a little bit higher, but it doesn't have any holes or anything like that. You know, like this lower areas that this part has. So if anything, this is a sign that we need to make sure that we fill this in. We have a bunch of rocks and things that we can put here as a base. Um, and then I, I, we've seen it before, we've done it before, and then on top you put some um, soil and grass grows perfectly. So let me show you. Oh goodness, I feel like it's just. This is scary. The level of the creek is unbelievable. I mean, do you remember my creek being ever this big? Like wide? It's so wide and it's at least a couple feet deep. And I can barely cover my shoes when it's not. But look at the speed of the water coming down the mountain through our creek that is obstructed by tons of trees. So, and this was the area where the duck, I shared that video where the duck got lost. She, she was coming down here. And if you remember, the water is not this close to the girl's pen. Like, this is unbelievable. This is weird. Um, and I don't know, really. There's no uh, stopping in the forecast. So I'm kind of worried about you know, you can see it over there. It's starting to flood the girls' pen. Like that lower part by where we're building the other pen. And again, we're going to fill it. I mean, that was the reason why we got all that rock and granite and broken stuff to kind of fill there. But it's just kind of out of control now. Look at that. Look at that. So many trees are down. But like I said, you hear this trees. 
fall down in the middle of the night and it's just one of the scariest sounds since we moved here of course because we've never lived surrounded by trees or in the woods now look at the the other part of the my creek can you see how much water is coming that's probably up to that line over there that's probably four feet deep i mean i don't know where else this water is going to be able to go and uh yeah it's kind of scary